So everyone able to see me, right? See the slides. Any doubts from the last class? So what are we discussing in the last class? We are discussing about mesh and nodal analysis, right? Mesh and nodal analysis. Uh, we have seen nodal analysis, uh, steps to determine node voltages, concept of super node, concept of super mesh. We have seen some problems and we have written the node equations. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, everyone try to do this one. Everyone try to do this one. In the given circuit, the parameter K is positive and the power dissipated in 2 ohm resistor is 12.5 watt. The value of K is dash. The value of K is dash. Find the value of K. <clears throat> if the power dissipated in the 2 ohm resistor is... 12.5 watts. If the power dissipated in the 2 ohm resistor is 12.5 watts. Okay, how do you do this? Nodal analysis, mesh analysis, what else? Uh, like, how do you want to do this? Zero point five. Okay. How do you do it? Any guesses? nodal analysis right so uh, can someone tell me what is v not first okay i'm sorry what is v not how to find v not see power is 12.5 watts right power is nothing but v square by r is 12.5 or v not square by r across this so v not is equal to 12.5 into 2 under root which is 5 volts right which is 5 volts v not is 5 volts so this is 5k is the current right and this value is 5k so tell me the node equation at this point let me call this voltage as v so this is <clears throat> or i can directly write the uh, value of v okay let me write it this way v minus 4 by 2 minus 5k this is the current right leaving current so i'm writing leaving current what is the leaving current here? Minus 5k. Leaving current here is 5. Leaving current here is 5 amperes. Minus 5 is equal to 0. And can you tell me what is the value of V? V you can write it in this way. See, this is 4 volts. 
and this is plus minus 5 volts so what is the value of v here I write on uh, <coughs> mesh equation minus 4 plus 5 plus v is equal to 0 so v is equal to v is equal to minus 1 v is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 minus 5 is equal to 5k right right v is minus 1 okay minus 5 minus 10 by 2 is equal to 5k minus 15 by 2 is equal to 5k by 3 is k is minus 1.5 also given k uh, the power dissipated in the two ohm resistor is uh, okay the k is a positive parameter right k is a positive parameter so for that what you have to do is see this is there is a small thing you have to observe k is a positive parameter if i do this way and get, getting k as minus 1.5 so i can take this as plus or minus 5 volts so now i have to consider minus 5 volts v naught as minus 5 volts so this will become minus 5k okay okay now now what happens here the the other thing the o volts this is minus 5 and this is v so what is V? V is equal to minus 4 minus 5. It is 9 volts. Okay, 9. V is 9. Okay, now write down here. The same equation with V as 9. Or V minus 4 by 2 plus 5k plus 5 is equal to 0. Right? V is 9 minus 4 by 2 plus 5k plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, again I am getting K as negative. Okay, sorry, this is minus 5K. Okay, the leaving current is... You can see 5 by 2 plus 5 is equal to 5k, 15, 15 by 2, 3 by 2 is equal to k, 1.5. Once you got it as 0. 0.5, how did you get it as 0. 0.5? Sir, uh, I applied KCL, sir. I got first I value from I square R P. It is 2.5, then V0 is 2.5 into 2, 5 volt, and then KCL at that node. Entering current is... Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you got it as 5 amps. 5 amps in which direction? Or oh, sorry. Uh, 5 volt. So, what is the current here? How much is the current? Current in the across 2 ohm resistor is? Uh, that uh, that current is 2.5 ampere sir i square r equal to 2.5 in, in which direction should be in this direction oh. right 2.5 minus 2.5 plus 5k plus 5 is equal to 0 okay 5k is equal to minus 2.5 K equal minus 2.5 by 5 minus 1 by 2 
you got it as negative no oh, sir positive uh, i took i direction uh, since it is the power is dissipated in the two ohm res resistor uh, the current direction is from four volt uh, voltage source it is observing the uh, current like this. this direction this direction in the two ohm resistor yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, that's what i took actually current entering okay yeah it is 5 minus 5 correct k is plus 1.2 okay k is plus 1.2 i i think i should also get the same here i think i did a mistake okay. somewhere plus 5 right plus 5 this is minus the mean minus 4 by 2 is leaving current and the leaving uh, let me just uh, write it down again Okay, <clears throat> it's V minus 4 by 2, correct, minus 5K, okay, if I take the positive value, minus 5K, and this is plus 5, that's where the mistake is, and the leaving current here is plus 5, okay, so what will I get now? So what will I get? V minus 4, V again I got it as minus 1, minus 5 by 2, minus 5k plus 5 is equal to 0, 5k is equal to 5 minus 5 by 2, 10 minus 5 by 2 is 5 by 2, 5k is 5 by 2, k is 1 by 2. Okay, shall I repeat? Uh, there was a small mistake from my side. <clears throat> See, I think it is clear up to this V0 is plus 5 volts and V is minus 1 volt. Here all the leaving currents, V minus 4 by 2 leaving current, if this is entering, the leaving current will be minus 5k. So minus 5k and the leaving current is plus 5. So minus uh, V is minus 1. So minus 1 minus 4 minus 5 by 2 minus 5k plus 5 equal to 0. So 5k is equal to 5 minus 5 by 2. 5k is equal to 1 by 2. Okay. Okay. Is this clear? Clear everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Everyone try to do this. Everyone try to do this. Say again, uh, uh, one second. What is this? What is this? Everyone? What kind of source is this? This is a? What kind of source is this? Current source. Hmm? It's a voltage controlled current source, VCCS or voltage dependent current source. The value of this current source depends upon the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor. Okay. <clears throat> Similarly, what kind of source is this? This is again a dependent source. And what kind of source is this? This is a current source, voltage dependent current source. This is also voltage controlled current source. It, its value depends upon the... Sorry. This is not a voltage controlled current source. This is a current controlled okay. current source. Its value depends upon the current flowing here. Okay, 2i. Okay, find V1 and V2 quickly.
sir v1 5 volt and v2 25 volt okay <coughs> V1 5 volts and V2. Okay. So for that, what you can do is you can directly take this as V or V1 is same as this. Okay. Write down the node L and a node equation here. Leaving currents. What is the leaving current here? Minus 5. Right. Minus 5. <coughs> plus V1 by 4. Plus V1 by 4. Plus 2I is equal to 0. And what is I? I is again equal to V1 by 4, right? Minus 5 plus V1 by 4 plus V1 by 4 plus 2 into V1 by 4, 2 into V1 by 4 is equal to 0. So, <coughs> how many? 4 V1 by 4 or V1 is equal to 5. V1 is 5 volts and how to find V2? How to find V2? Again, in loop equation here simply this is v2 right and this is 4 ohms the current is 5 amperes here this is v1 right loop equation you'll get minus v2 plus 5 into 420 plus v1 is 5 is equal to 0 so v2 is 25 ohms okay clear simple So uh, try to find this one. Find resistance value R. You know, this this I think you may need calculator for this. No, try to do this. Find the value of resistance R. Find the value of resistance R. See how do you start it? Find this voltage V, the node voltage V. So what is the voltage here? 100 volts. And the voltage here is 40. So write down the node equation here. V minus 100 by 14 plus V by 2. Take this as reference. Plus V minus 40 by 1 is equal to 0. <coughs> so V by 14 plus V by 2 plus V is equal to 100 by 14 plus 40. Okay. What just happened? Okay. Okay, we were doing this. Find the value, node value. So find the value V here. 
Any answers for V? Thirty volts. We use thirty volts. Okay. <clears throat> so after finding V, how can you do this? Uh, after finding V, can you find the current here? Current flowing through the fourteen ohm resistor. How can you find the current through the fourteen ohm resistor? I fourteen is equal to hundred minus thirty by fourteen. Okay. Similarly, I one. What is I one? I through the one ohm resistor is forty minus thirty by one. Ten amperes. Seventy by fourteen. Five amperes, right? So this is five ampere and this is ten ampere. Okay. So what is this current? This current is ten amps is coming from here and five is going. So five amperes is this. So current through resistor R is five amperes and voltage across the resistor R. Voltage across R is equal to hundred minus forty. Which is sixty ohms. Current is five, so R is sixty by five. This twelve ohms. Clear? Is it clear? You understood the procedure actually. So you want to do this last problem before going to the theorems. The current I flowing through the circuit shown below in amperes. Find the current I. Everyone, again, tell me what kind of source is this? What kind of source is this? This is a. What kind of source is this? Are you able to hear me, everyone? Okay. Okay. I think you are busy <laughs> solving the question. Okay. This is a <clears throat> current controlled voltage source. This is a current controlled voltage source. Okay, again, how to do this? Take the volt uh, node voltage V, or rather, you can write down the mesh equation. 
take this as i1 take this as i2 okay you can write it that way and you'll get two equations right okay there is a super node here no better to take voltage only sorry yeah voltage v so this is v minus 20 by 2 plus v minus 5 i by 3 is equal to 0 sorry is equal to 2 i can write 2 so and again what is i i is 20 minus what is i i is equal to 20 minus v by 2 i is nothing but the current in this direction 20 minus v by 2 <coughs> so this is v by 2 minus 10 plus v by 3 minus 5 into 20 by 2 5 into 10 50 minus or minus plus 5 into v by 2 plus 5 v by 2 is equal to 2 so v by 2 plus v by 3 plus 5 v by 2 is equal to 62 okay. so this is i'll see my 6 6 v by 2 okay otherwise this is 6 v by 2 is 3 v plus v by 3 is equal to 62 9 plus 10 10 v is equal to 3 into 62 so v is 18.6 you need to find i i is 20 minus 18.65 how much did you get? 1.4 by 2.7 0.7 right everyone? One point four amperes. Four by two, right? It is one point four by two. This is zero point seven amperes. Zero point seven amperes. Are you able to hear me, everyone? Am I low? You can't see the slide. Oh. Point 0.7 clear, right? Everyone, point zero point seven. Is this clear? Okay. Next, what is superposition theorem or superposition principle? What is superposition theorem or superposition principle? Superposition principle states that the voltage across or current through any an element in a linear circuit in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of voltages across or currents through that element due to each independent source acting alone okay so remember superposition theorem is for <coughs> is applicable for independent sources only okay independent sources remember this superposition principle states that voltage across or current through any element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of voltages across or currents through that element due to each independent source acting alone okay steps we consider one independent source at a time while all other independent sources are turned off remember this all independent sources are turned off what do you mean by turning off that means current source should be opened voltage source should be uh, shorted that that in the sense voltage is equal to zero is a short circuit and current source i is zero is an open circuit right <clears throat> so turning off voltage source in the sense short circuiting it Op uh, turning off current source in the sense open circuiting it okay this implies that we replace every voltage source by a short circuit and every current source by an open circuit find the output or that is voltage or current due to that active source <coughs> using various techniques you know various techniques like nodal analysis mesh analysis source transformation technique okay you can directly reduce the circuit and find the current or voltage across that okay 
and dependent sources are left intact because they are controlled by circuit variables this is important okay you have to turn off only the independent sources dependent sources are left intact because they are controlled by circuit variables repeat step one for each of the other independent sources repeat step one for each other of uh, the other independent sources find the total contribution by adding algebraically all the contributions to in, due to the independent sources okay <coughs> find this find the voltage v not using superposition theorem let me do this for you <clears throat> find the voltage v not v not is across this 2 ohm resistor so you have two independent sources what are those this is a voltage source and there is a current source voltage source and a current source <clears throat> so now what i do is i'll write four amps acting alone i'm taking this current source alone so what should I do? Turn off the other source. What is the other source? The 10 volt source. Turning off a voltage source in the sense, you have to short it. You have to short the voltage source. Right? So this is my 3 ohms resistor, 5 ohms. This is shorted voltage source and this is 2 ohms. I need to find voltage across this as V0. Now I'll call it as V0 dash. So what is V0 dash here? See, you, you can use nodal analysis, mesh analysis, whatever you want. But if you simply see this, this is these two are in series. So the voltage across, uh, sorry, the re total resistance will be, the total resistance is 5 ohms here, 5 ohms here. 4 amps will be divided equally across equal resistance. These two are in parallel, 5 amps. 5 ohm and this 5 ohm are in parallel so this 4 ohms gets equally divided so this will be 2 amperes and this is 2 amperes so this 2 amperes flows in this 2 ohm resistor V0 dash will be 2 into 2 4 volts V0 dash will be 4 okay now considering 10 volt source acting alone acting alone 10 volt source acting alone Okay, so what you have to do to the current source, you have to open the current source, turning off of the current source in the sense, you have to open the current source. So this is plus minus 10 volts, 5 ohms, 3 ohms and 2 ohms. This is plus minus V0 double dash. So can you tell me V0 double dash? <coughs> we know something called as voltage division rule. We have seen in the series circuits, right? V0 double dash is nothing but 2 volt right so 5 plus 3 plus 2 is 10 ohms so these uh, 10 volts gets divided proportionately so you can directly write it as 2 volts or total voltage into the same resistance by total resistance which will be 2 volts okay now <clears throat> and the directions are very important v not dash and v not double dash so total v not will be v not dash plus v not double dash okay so 4 plus 2 which is 6 volts okay <laughs> this is how you sir, use uh, yes what happened sir surjit is having some doubt in the previous slide okay this one okay what is the doubt surjit what is the doubt so previous question doubt okay Sir, by writing KVL in the outer loop, it's coming 1.4 amperes, sir. KVL in the outer loop. Okay, let me... Uh, like minus 20 plus 2i uh, plus 3 into... Plus 2i. Okay, plus 2i. Plus 3 into... 3 into i plus 2. Plus 5i. equal to 0. Plus 3 into I plus 2. Yes, sir. How did you write it as I plus 2? Because this is I and this is 2. This yes, should sir. be I plus 2. Okay, let me take it that way. Uh, so, I, I plus 2 into 3. I plus 2 into 3 plus 5i is equal to 0, right? Mm. 
mm, okay minus 20 plus 2i plus 3i plus 6 plus 5i is equal to 0 so 1 2 3 10i is equal to 6 minus 20 14 i is 1.4 amperes Achha. let me do this i1 and i2 Okay, you can call I2 is equal to I1 plus 2. Okay, what else? Are we do any mistake here? v minus 20 by 2 correct <coughs> a v minus 5i by 3 is equal to 2 v by 2 minus 10 plus v by 3 minus 5i by 3 so minus 5 into i by 3 is i is again 20 by 20 minus by 100 by 2 is 50 minus 5v by 2 correct minus 50 plus v by 2 is 2 v by 2 plus v by 3 plus 5 v by 2 is equal to 62 correct 5 v by 2 and v by 2 6 v by 2 is so 3 by 3 factor will also they are not in that case hmm? what uh, so 50 by 3 minus 5 v by 6 will be there no okay yes 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 that is what this is minus 1 by 3 into this right yeah that is the mistake we did okay that way i think minus 1 by 3 into 50 plus v by 5 v by 2 so yeah what happened i have doubt uh, like uh, if we apply some Hmm. Current, uh, let's say I equal to one ampere, hmm. and uh, just find the voltage drop across that resistors. Yeah, there there are actually many uh, shortcuts uh, that can be done. Taking uh, but uh, there are some circuits for uh, uh, what you call some circuits which if you do that way you may get wrong. That's what I have seen people doing that taking I as some uh, for dependent sources taking some value and the back calculate it you can do that way or directly this is also 5 by 3 into i is 20 minus v by 2 is equal to 2 v by 2 minus 10 plus v by 3 minus 500 by 6 this by 6 plus 5 v by 6 is equal to 0 v by 2 plus 5 v by 6 3 8 v by 6 3 by 3 10 v by 6 10 v by 6 is equal to minus 10 is plus 10 100 by 6 2 plus 10, 20 plus 100 by 6. 20, 6, 6 gets cancelled. 10 V is equal to 220. V is 22. I think there is a calculation mistake. v by 2 plus v by 3 plus 5 v by 6 is equal to 2 plus 10 plus 100 by 6 okay 6 is the LCM 3 plus 2 5 5 10 v is equal to 6 is the LCM we 10 
12, 12 into 6. That's the mistake, 12, 6. V is 17.2. 17.2 this is 2.8 by 2 5.4 amps correct okay yeah i'm sorry for the mistake i think this is correct 1.4 amps yeah th this this looks simpler uh, you can follow any of the method this is the simpler method basically you can write down the mesh it it all depends whether you are using mesh analysis and nodal analysis sometimes it's easier to use mesh analysis sometimes it's easier to use nodal analysis okay and this because there is a super mesh here it's better to use this okay yeah <clears throat> So we are doing with superposition theorem. So try to find this. Find the current through one ohm resistor using superposition theorem. Find the current through one ohm resistor using superposition theorem. Try to use superposition theorem and try to do this. So again, fastly, using 4 volt source alone. So this is my 4 volt. So turning off all other independent sources. What happens to these two current sources? The get opens acuted. So this gets open and this also gets open. So 2 ohms, 3 ohms and 1 ohm. I need to find I. I call it as I dash here. So what is I dash here? So no current flows through this resistor. So th you can remove this resistance directly. So this will be simply. Okay. This is a circuit. So I dash is equal to 4 by 3 amperes. Okay. And then using 3 amp source alone. Turn off this. So again open circuit and short circuit. So this is how it looks. Three amperes, three ohms, two ohms and one ohm. So this is I double dash. Four amps. Okay, let's see. I double dash again current division rule. Three into opposite resistance by total resistance. Two amperes. Okay. Taking one amp source alone. <coughs> 1 amp source alone so what happens how will be this acute now so this is 1 ampere so open this short this 1 ohm 2 ohms 3 ohms I call it as I triple dash so again current gets divided here i triple dash is equal to 1 into 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 amps so total i is equal to i dash plus i double dash plus i triple dash so 4 by 3 
plus in the same direction right all downwards direction so i double dash 4 by 3 plus 2 plus 2 by 3 6 by 3 is 2 plus 2 4 amperes everyone 4 amperes okay clear next homogeneity principle the homogeneity property requires that if the input also called as excitation is multiplied by a constant then the output also called as response is multiplied by the or will be multiplied by the same constant if i multiply an input by the by a constant the output or the response will also get multiplied by the same constant <clears throat> see find all the branches if the voltage source is changed to from 12, 20 volts to 60 volts okay so <clears throat> with 20 volt source find the current in find the current all the current with 20 volt source so how are these two so uh, can i see the pre previous slide once more yeah the homogeneity principle or property requires that if input input is multiplied by a constant then the output is also multiplied by the same constant okay okay okay, okay. so considering 20 volts so this is the excitation okay what is the response responses is nothing but the current current in all the branches so find the current in all the branches so these two are in parallel so 4 and 4 parallel is 2 ohms 2 and 3 are in series so 5 ohms so current total current is equal to 20 by 5 4 amperes so this is 4 amperes so 2 amperes and 2 amperes equal resistance divide the current equally with 20 volt source okay now taking 60 volt source Sixty volt source, three ohms, four ohms, and four ohms. Again, the total current is I is equal to sixty by five, right? So four and four parallel is two, two and three series is five. So sixty by five is twelve amperes, and this is six and six amperes. So <clears throat> what you have to observe is see this source is or the source is multiplied by 3 times so what is k here k is equal to 60 by 3 60 by 20 which is 3 so if the source is or the excitation is multiplied by a constant k the outputs are also multiplied by the same constant right so <clears throat> 4 will be multiplied by 4 into 3 into 3 into 3 so 4 3 is 12 amperes 2 3 is 6 amperes, 2, 3, sorry, 2, 3, 6 amperes, okay? When multiple sources are present, first apply superposition theorem and then later homogeneity principle, okay? When our homogeneity principle is applied, make sure that only one independent, one source is present in the network. Okay, this applies for independent sources, okay? Okay, clear about homogeneity principle? Yes, sir. If that is clear, try to solve this. Yeah. Solve this. If when V is equal to 120 volts, it is found that see homogeneity principle and superposition principle. All the linear networks follow superposition as well as homogeneity pro property okay so this is a linear resistive network okay so when vs is 120 volts it is found that i1 i1 is 3 amperes v2 is 50 volts okay i1 when v, vs is 120 volts it is found that i1 is 3 amps and v2 is 50 volts and power delivered to r3 is 60 watts if vs is reduced to 1.5 volts find the new values of i1 v2 and power delivered to r3 Try to do this, everyone. Everyone try to do this.
okay 2.65 43 5.74 okay let's see see when vs is equal to 120 volts i1 is found to be 3 amperes and v2 is found to be 50 volts and power across r3 is 60 watts right power across r3 is this one okay 60 watts so v2 i got it as 50 <coughs> i1 is 3 amps so now vs is 1.5 volts what is i1 now i1 is directly i1 is now directly 3 into 105 by 120 okay 3 into 105 by 120 2.625 and <clears throat> what else v2 is 50 into 105 by 120 50 is 105 by 120 43.75 and power delivered see <clears throat> power delivered is nothing but i square r or v square by r okay i can consider any of this see only these are valid for voltages and currents power is not a linear element so i is 60 by r under root okay so i is 60 by r under root here which is uh, yeah so now what happens to i here i in r3 i across r3 is 60 by 60 by r into 105 by 120 okay so i need p into p at r3 now which is i3 i r3 square r3 so now what happens here i is 60 by r into <coughs> or r3 into r3 to 105 by 120 square so this is this will be p into r3 45 point okay this is what you got right 45.94 okay okay this is how you do it <coughs> clear everyone so powers you can't directly uh, what you call <clears throat> do it you can only work with voltages and currents which are linear ones okay so power is not non-linear power is not linear okay if you want yeah, you, you can try this one the linear network contains only resistors if is1 is 8 amps is2 is 12 amps vx is found to be 80 if is1 is minus 8 is2 is 1 vx is 0 find vx and is for, find vx when is1 is2 is 20 amperes try to do this IS1 is equal to 8, IS2 is equal to 12, VX is 80. Next, IS1 is minus 8, IS2 is 1, VX is 0. Find IS1 is equal to IS2 is equal to 20 amps, find VX. Okay. see how do you do this apply superposition 
first thing you have to do apply superposition and find it for that what you can write is it's something like this <clears throat> so a into is1 plus b into is2 is equal to vx okay find the values of a and b a into is1 is 8 8a plus 12b is equal to 80 here minus 80a plus b is equal to 0 so <clears throat> a 80a is equal to b right 8a is b so 13b is 80 find b and a Okay, A is 10 by 13, B is, oh sorry, okay. B is 80 by 13, 10 by 13. Okay, so Vx is equal to again, A is 10 by 13 into 20 plus 80 by 13 into 20. So this is what you will get, 138. Sorry, how much? Two hundred plus sixteen hundred by thirteen. Okay, eighteen hundred by thirteen. Okay, one thirty eight point four six. Clear. Okay. Next, okay, last problem in this. <clears throat> Try to solve this. A particular resistor R dissipates a power of 4 watts when V alone is active. The same resistor R dissipates a power of 9 watts when I alone is active. The maximum and minimum powers dissipated by R when both the sources are active simultaneously will be. When both the sources are active simultaneously will be fine A, B, C, D. See, when V alone is active, it's 4 watts. So, I is, or I in the <coughs> resistor is, IR is, I square R is 4. So, 4 by, 4 by R under root, or 2 by root R. Okay, and I alone is active. So, IR is, 9 by r under root or 3 by root r okay so now both are acting <clears throat> so what will i i will be ir of this ir dash ir dash plus or minus ir double dash so you want maximum and minimum so for maximum what i'll do i'll take ir plus ir ir dash plus ir double dash so what will i get <clears throat> under root r 3 plus 2 is 5 by root r okay so power here is i square r so 25 by r into r so 25 watts is maximum and minimum i is equal to ir dash minus ir double dash so what will i get <coughs> minus 1 by root r so power is i square r so again 1 by root 1 by r into r 1 watt so 25 and 1 option D clear clear you can same do with voltages also either voltages or current because power is non-linear you have to deal with, deal with voltages or 
currents. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Next. <clears throat> Next topic is Thevenin theorem. Thevenin theorem states that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit. Okay, <clears throat> of voltage source V Thevenin in series with a resistor R Thevenin, where V Thevenin is the open circuit voltage at the terminals and R Thevenin is the input or equivalent resistance at the terminals when the independent sources are turned off. When all the independent sources are turned off. Remember this, Thevenin's theorem states that any any linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source and <coughs> a resistor R Thevenin where V Thevenin is open circuit voltage at the terminals and R Thevenin is equivalent resistors as seen from the terminals when all the independent sources are turned off. Okay, <coughs> so this is a linear two terminal device. So we have a load here. Or load resistance or a load so <clears throat> all the circuit can be replaced with a voltage source in series with a resistance v thevenin and r thevenin see if this load is variable if i know all uh, i can simplify this circuit to a simpler circuit what i can do i can directly find the current i every time that is the logic okay and this is nothing but a practical voltage source thevenin theorem what does a thevenin theorem do Thevenin's theorem converts this entire circuit across the load into a practical voltage source. Practical voltage source in the sense a voltage source in series with the resistance. Okay. Practical voltage source in the sense a voltage source in series with the resistance. What is the value of V Thevenin? V Thevenin is the open circuit voltage as seen from these terminals. Okay. <clears throat> what is R Thevenin's? R Thevenin's is the R Thevenin's is the equivalent resistance as seen from these terminals when all the independent sources are turned off. Okay. We'll see it with an example. So uh, after this finding I is, I is the load current. I is nothing but if I have a resistance here as R load, it will become I is equal to V Thevenin by R Thevenin plus R. I is V Thevenin by R Thevenin plus R. Find the equivalent uh, Thevenin's equivalent across A and B terminals and find the current through 6 ohms, 16 ohms, and 36 ohms. Uh, current if RL is equal to 6 ohms, 16 ohms, and 36 ohms. Okay. If RL is equal to uh, 6 ohms, 16 ohms, and 36 ohms. Okay. First finding V Thevenin. Okay. How, what to do to find V Thevenin? What to do to find V Thevenin? Open the load terminals and find the voltage across open circuited terminals. Okay. So this will be the volt source. Use all the techniques we have learned so far. So this, this is the open circuited terminal. So find V Thevenin across this voltage across this VOC or V Thevenin. So this is 1 amp, sorry 1 ohm, 2 amperes, 12 ohms and 4 ohms. So when this is open circuited, no current flows through this 1 ohm resistor. No current flows through this 1 ohm resistor. You can simply remove this. Okay, now find the voltage here, V Thevenin. Directly apply nodal analysis. So V Thevenin minus 32 by 4 plus VTH by 12 minus 2 is equal to 0. So V Thevenin by 4, not 3 plus 1, 4 V Thevenin by 12 okay, is equal to 34. So 4 is 3. V Thevenin is okay, 32 by 6, 4. 10 30 volts V Thevenin is 30 volts and now to find R Thevenin what will we do to find R Thevenin 
open circuit these terminals and turn off all the independent sources turning off your voltage sources short circuiting the voltage source and open circuiting the current source okay so this is how the circuit will be this is my r terminal 1 ohm 4 ohms and 12 ohms so what is r terminal 12 and 4 parallel 3 ohms 12 into 4 by 12 plus 4 16 right four fours four threes three ohms okay <clears throat> the 12 parallel with six is 12 by 3 4 and 12 parallel with 4 is 3 remember this this is simple way to remember 12 parallel 6 is 4 2 r by 3 and 12 parallel 4 is 3 3 ohms so r then is 3 plus 1 4 ohms as seen from now this resistance won't be removed because you know, there is a resistance here and will, which will become series with the parallel combination okay okay <clears throat> the entire circuit will become something like this thirty volts in series with a four ohm and this is my load resistance others so i is equal to thirty by four plus rl so if rl is six ohms rl is equal to six ohms i is thirty by ten 3 amps and so on okay 6 16 and 36 okay 16 rl is 16 is 16 plus 4 23 by 2 okay rl is 26 sorry 36 right 36 so i will become 36 plus 4 43 by 4 yeah, 3 by 4, 3 by 2 and 3. Clear? <coughs> Is this clear everyone? Yes sir. Yeah. Next one. Find the terminals equivalent across A and B terminals. Find the terminals equivalent across A and B terminals. Find the terminals equivalent across A and B terminals. So everyone look look at the screen let me solve this one for you so many people get confused when there is a dependent source so first thing you have to do is why it's tuned in some notes okay first thing you have to do is find v terminal find v thevenin so to find v thevenin seeing across this you have to find the voltage across vab open circuited terminals v thevenin is 5.33 also okay <clears throat> see how to find v thevenin again you can use nodal analysis mesh analysis so again uh, if you see there is what you call the super mesh here so i can use that minus 6 plus 5 into i okay okay 5 into i plus 3 plus 4 is 12 sorry 3 plus 4 is 7 7 into ix is equal to 0 okay and what is i in terms of ix i in terms of ix or super mesh equation so this is my i so what I can write I 
all the incoming out, outgoing currents as positive minus i plus ix minus 1.5 times ix is equal to 0 so ix is equal to point minus 0.5 ix is equal to x equal to 2 times i or rather i want i x so i'll write i in terms of i x minus i is equal to 0 0.5 i x okay so from this minus 6 plus or minus 5 times 0 0.5 i x plus 7 i x is equal to 0 so this will be minus 2.5 minus 2.5 ix plus 7 ix is equal to 6 so 4.5 ix is equal to 6 ix is equal to 6 by 4.5 3 goes to 3 is 4 by 3 so 4 by 3 is ix so what is v thevenin? v thevenin is ix into 4 ix into 4 16 by 3 16 by 3 is 4 point 33 volts okay x or v thevenin is 5.33 volts v thevenin is 5.33 volts so v thevenin here is 5.33 33 volts now to find r thevenin any answers for r thevenin okay <coughs> see r thevenin to find r thevenin what you have to do you have to turn off all the independent sources so how will the circuit become what is the independent source here only the 6 volt source so i have to short it right voltage sources are to be short circuited and dependent sources will stay intact and you have to find the voltage across sorry resistance as seen from this terminals right for this what you have to do is this is ix this is 4 ohms so what you can do is <coughs> apply voltage source or a current source here okay apply voltage v and find current i you uh, find v by i you will get resistance okay or find uh, apply i and find v across this you will get v by i as resistance okay find i uh, so you can use some numericals or directly uh, write the nomenclature as i okay what i'll do is simply simply i'll take a one amp source here okay one amp source Okay, you can take any uh, value you have to find the voltage across this okay now so this is v and write down the thevenin's okay mm, you'll get two voltage sources right okay so better to take a voltage source rather than current source it all depends upon your circuit okay so plus minus 1 volt I need to find the current I here okay to find the current I V by I will give me the resistance okay this find the node voltage V here so uh, write down the equation so this is 1 volt so <coughs> V by 5 plus V minus 1 by 3 minus 1.5 times ix is equal to 0 what is ix ix is v minus 1 by 3 minus 1.5 into v by 3 plus 1.5 by 3 is equal to 0 v minus 1 by 3 okay so so what is the value you got as v? so v is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 3 
थ्री बाई टू इंटू थ्री इज थ्री बाई थ्री बाई टू इंटू वन बाई थ्री वन बाई टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइनस वन बाई टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई थ्री प्लस वन बाई थ्री प्लस थ्री बाई टू सेकेंड टू सॉरी वन बाई टू ओके फाइंड वी फ्रॉम दस फाइंड वी फ्रॉम दस V is twenty five volts. Okay, fine. V is twenty five volts now. Okay. V is twenty five volts. What is I X? I X is equal to twenty five minus one twenty four by three eight amperes. So you got I X, and this current is one by four. So find I. I will get it in negative values. I will be three minus one by four. Okay, minus I will be three minus one by four. Three minus one by four. Eleven by four. Okay, eleven by four is I. So R will be one by I, or V by I. V is one volt. So this will be four by eleven ohms. Did you get the same answer? Four by nine or four by eleven? Four by eleven, I think. Check it. Resistance is four by eleven. V is twenty-five, right? How much you got as V? V as twenty five. V is twenty five. Twenty five minus one twenty four by three is eight. Eight is I X, and one by four is this current. So I will be <coughs> minus three plus one by four or three minus one by four. It's eleven by four. It's four by eleven. Okay, everyone clear? You understood how to do this? This is a sample question. <clears throat> Clear, everyone. This is how you have to do when there is a dependent source. I ne I need the responses. Is it clear? Okay, you can check the numerical later. But this is the procedure. I think it's four by eleven. There might be uh, any mistake because I'm not using an actual calculator, but this is how you do it. Okay. Clear. Clear, right? So you can either have a current source here. You'll get the similar answer. I used a voltage source because I'll have only one equation to solve. Okay, that is why I used a voltage source. Here. Next, moving on. Norton's theorem. Norton's theorem states Sir, that I actually don't uh, assume that V is equal to one volt. Uh, that we have done, but uh, I have done only V D C. Take that value as V D C, okay. and by taking that loop, K V L is coming. You have the value, sir. Okay. How many How many loops you got? Uh, sir, one is V D C equal to four into I D C plus I X. Okay. Another one is the outer loop equation that is minus V D C uh, minus three I X plus two point five I X equal to zero. Uh, uh huh. Okay, you rem you uh, can you can okay ignore that four. Okay, you got a different answer. Yes, sir. The, uh, from there I got four by nine actually. Four by nine. Oh, I think I need to check your answer. Okay. See, the uh, procedure is this way. You either have you can have VDC or like some voltage here, V, 
find yes, yes. by i you have to get the answer okay yes yes sir, sir. maybe calculation something uh, there might be some calculation based instructions because i'm not using a proper calculator it's always yes, easier sir. to have some volt value okay instead of having uh, v everywhere it's better to have some value it's easier to do it if not one you can take 10 or 100 or any other thing so that you can have direct values okay yes sir yes sir okay next northorn's theorem see northorn's theorem is nothing but thevenin's theorem with a uh, practical current source again northorn's theorem states that a linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a current source in parallel with a resistor rn where in is the short circuit current through the terminals and rn is the input or equivalent resistance at the terminals when the independent sources are turned off when the independent sources are turned off so rn and r thevenin are same in is the short circuit current through the terminals okay <clears throat> so again this is my linear term uh, linear two terminal circuit so i can replace this with an current source in parallel with the resistance this is in in is nothing but the short circuited current with all the sources remaining rn is nothing but the open circuited resistance open circuited resistance across the nb terminals with all the independent sources turned off okay so rn and r rn and r seven n r one in the same rn and r seven n r one in the same so there is sim so we have what you call source transformation technique right so seven n's and north on theorem uh, you can convert one to other Thevenin's and Northorn's equivalents. So if I have V Thevenin and R Thevenin, this is my load. I can convert this into <coughs> I N and R N. This is my load. So what will if I convert in this way? What will I N be? I N is equal to V terminal by R terminal, comma R N is equal to R terminal. If I convert from north on to terminal, V terminal will be I N into R N. R terminal is equal to R N. See what is the advantage of knowing this is simply some circuits are better to find. Uh, some circuits have better uh, if we find V terminal. some circuits it's better if i can find in okay so whichever way you want to do it you can do it and you can interchange based on these formulas okay you can you can find the northorn equivalent and then simply convert it into thevenin equivalent if someone asks you the values of thevenin and r thevenin or if if it's if it's easier to find in in some questions shorting it will give you direct answer sometimes okay you have to see it that way okay <clears throat> So find the northorn equivalent between A and B terminals. Find northorn equivalent between A and B terminals. Everyone, do this. What is R N? R T V N R N. Directly. Three ohm. Correct. Find I N. Find the short circuit current I N. No, it's not one by two. It's not one by two. <clears throat> okay, you give me here. First thing you have to find I N. I N for I N. What you can do? 
फिफ्टीन वोल्ट फोर एम्पियस एंड दिस इज सिक्स ओम्स शॉर्ट द टर्मिनल सी एन बी एंड फाइंड आई एन थ्री ओम्स एंड थ्री ओम्स राइट सो इफ आई शॉर्ट दिस वॉट इज द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सिक्स ओम रेजिस्टर नथिंग इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव करेक्ट सो यू कैन रिमूव दिस यू कैन रिमूव दिस यू कैन यूज नोडल एनालिसिस मैश एनालिसिस वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट यू कैन इवन यूज सुपर पोजिशन थी राम इफ आई कंसिडर ओनली फोर एम्स और एक्टिंग वॉट एपन्स दिस विल बिकम शॉर्ट सक्यूट एंड दिस इज हाउ इट इज सो थ्री ओम्स एंड थ्री ओम्स दिस इज फोर एम्पियस सो आई एन डैश विल बी equally divided 2 amperes okay if i consider 15 volts or salon what happens current so i can remove it 15 volts 3 ohms 3 ohms right this is i n double dash i n double dash is equal to 15 by 6 2.5 so i n is 2 plus 2.5 4.5 amps okay you can use nodal mesh you, you know many techniques by now so you can use any of those techniques or you can simply use superposition so it's superposition theorem that is very easy when you have two independent sources okay if you want to find currents and voltages it's easier sometimes okay in is 4.5 amps so r and directly r and equivalent circuit turn off all the sources Six ohms, three ohms, and three ohms. Six parallel with six, R N is three ohms. Six parallel six is six by two, three ohms. Clear, everyone? Four point five and three. Uh, sir. Hmm. Um, the third figure. Uh, hmm. If we This one. Uh, third figure means uh, the uh, second figure you have drawn that means second one am source are acting alone right from top uh, from top to second okay this one yeah like 15 volts 3 ohms i yes if yeah okay so if we calculate the current in the uh, first first like a uh, I didn't understand. Uh, oh, okay. Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. That's a mistake. Sure, sure. Sorry, sir. Okay. See, again, you can have a whole uh, node equation here. Find V, and then V by three will give you I n. You can do any method. Okay. so even this is simpler having nodal analysis you can do any method okay finding uh, in is important <coughs> okay okay hmm. next maximum power transfer theorem so clear so far terminals and northons okay uh, because i don't want to do more numericals that's why i used only one question with uh, the dependent sources if you want i can give you as uh, like homework and you can solve them and if you have doubts you can ask me in what you call whatsapp or something okay <clears throat> so maximum power transfer theorem so maximum power transfer theorem states that <clears throat> maximum power is transferred to the load when the load resistance is equal to thevenin's resistance as seen from the load okay maximum power transfer theorem states that when load resistance is equal to thevenin's resistance as seen from the load then only there will be maximum power transferred from the load sorry from the source to the load from the source to the load okay from the source to the load that means so uh, remember this only when the load is variable this is applicable if the internal resistance or r thevenin is variable what should be the value of r thevenin to find get maximum power to be transferred from source to load this should be zero if this is variable this is variable r thevenin is zero logical right if this is zero then only all the power that can be transferred to load 
will be maximum okay but this is not variable this is always there because all the practical sources will have an internal resistance or the circuits internal resistance when i convert the whole circuit into a thevenin equivalent circuit have an r thevenin and v thevenin so <clears throat> maximum power is transferred from source to load when rl is equal to r thevenin when rl is equal to r thevenin okay so don't remember in this way when r thevenin is equal to rl many people remember this don't remember in this way rl is equal to r thevenin both are same but the logic is r thevenin is not variable rl is the variable <clears throat> okay okay see power here is uh, if you want i can do the derivation also <clears throat> See power is I square R, RL power to load. I is nothing but I is nothing but V thevenin by R thevenin plus RL whole square into RL. Okay, V square by okay. Mm. For maximum power, dt by drl should be zero. Okay. And so again, u by v rule. U by v rule. <coughs> u into v derivative by two times r thevenin plus rl. U into v derivative minus v into u derivative. is equal to zero rl derivatives this much so 2 rl into r thevenin plus 2 rl square is equal to rl square plus r thevenin square plus 2 rl r thevenin again okay, these two gets cancelled so rl square is equal to r thevenin square okay or rl is equal to r thevenin for maximum power to be transferred from source to load, the lower resistance must be equal to Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Okay, RL is equal to <coughs> R Thevenin. So again, P max is equal to I square RL or V square by R Thevenin and RL are same. So 2 into R Thevenin square into R Thevenin. Sorry. 2 square is 4 again. So V square by 4 RL or R thevenin is P max. Value of maximum power. That maximum power RL is equal to R thevenin. V square by 4 R thevenin or 4 RL. Clear everyone? Is this clear? Clear, clear. So determine RL for maximum power to be transferred from source to load. Determine RL for maximum power to be transferred from source to load. Or load to source. Source to load. <laughs> determine the value of R thevenin or RL. RL is nothing but R thevenin, right? At maximum power. And so there is a dependent source. Try to do this, everyone. Quickly. So everyone understands. So again, to find R thevenin, what I have to do? I have to short the voltage source, independent source, 
this is 2 ohms plus minus Vx 1 ohm plus minus 3 Vx so this is again a voltage dependent voltage source everyone to your screens 4 ohms 4.22 ohms okay we'll see so again I can have a voltage source or a current source okay I'll take a current value of 1 amp here find the value of voltage V here okay so I will call this as some V naught how to find V naught yeah V naught by 2 plus V naught minus 3 Vx by 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 right V naught by 2 plus V naught minus 3 Vx Vx is nothing but minus V naught so plus 3 V naught minus 1 or equal to 1 so 3 plus 4 plus <coughs> 1 by 2 8 9 by 2 V naught by 2 is equal to 1 V naught is equal to 2 by 9 okay so R then N is Oh, sorry I need to find V here what is V V naught is 2 by 9 I need to find V naught V V is nothing but the voltage across this resistor sorry this is minus plus 4 volts okay so this is plus minus V naught <coughs> minus V naught okay, I can write the equation here minus V naught minus 4 plus V is equal to 0 V is equal to V naught plus 4 2 by 9 plus 4 13 plus 2 15 by 9 5 by 3 okay V is 5 by 3 so R then is 5 by 3 ohms Four point two two. Oh, sorry, this is wrong. I think nine thirty nine was thirty six plus two thirty eight. But nine thirty eight by nine is V. So R is thirty eight by nine. 4.22 correct 4.22 ohms okay clear everyone 4.22 ohms is R then understood Clear? Shall I move on? Thank you. Everyone, are you following me? Am I going fast, slow? Following me, right, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Find this. Everyone? In the circuit shown below, maximum power transferred to the resistor R is dash watts. Maximum tra power transferred to the resistor. Find it. For this, what you have to do? You have to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. Sorry, Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Find Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Find V Thevenin and R Thevenin. Find V Thevenin and R Thevenin. So, what is R Thevenin? Quickly. What is R Thevenin? Everyone, what is R Thevenin? 40 by 13. No. Find R Thevenin.
आर तो मैंने ना सीन फ्रॉम द ओपन सर्क्यूटेड टर्मिनल्स ऑफ लोड और आर ओके आई हैव टू ओपन दिस एंड सी फ्रॉम दीज टर्मिनल्स एंड टर्न ऑफ ऑल द इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस यस इट्स 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव ओम्स इट्स टू पॉइंट फाइव ओम्स सो दिस इज शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट हियर ओपन सर्क्यूट हियर ओपन दिस शॉर्ट दिस शॉर्ट दिस फाइंड द रेजिस्टेंस हियर फाइव एंड फाइव आर इन पैरल टू पॉइंट फाइव ओम्स डायरेक्टली ओके टू पॉइंट फाइव ओम्स डायरेक्टली आर तेवन नेक्स्ट फाइंड वी तेवन वी तेवन हाउ डू यू फाइंड वी तेवन यू सुपर पोजिशन थी रम यू सुपर पोजिशन थी रम बिकॉज यू हैव मोर दैन टू सोर्सेस इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर टू यू सुपर पोजिशन थी रम फाइंड विथ यूजिंग फाइव वोल्ट सोर्स फाइव वोल्ट सोर्स वॉट इज वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस आई कॉल वी थे डैश सो आई नीड टू शॉर्ट दिस ओपन दिस सो द सर्क्यूट विल बी सिंपली फाइव एंड फाइव इन सीरीज विथ फाइव फाइव वोल्ट सोर्स सो इट्स पॉइंट फाइव एम्स पॉइंट फाइव इन टू फाइव इट्स टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट वी थे डैश इज Two point five volts directly. If you want me to write, draw the circuit, it's something like this: five volts. This is V seven and dash. Five ohms and five ohms. Because everything else is short and open, I have to open the R. So this is V seven and dash. Two point five volts. <coughs> okay, considering six volts or so long. Considering six volts or so long, short this, open this. Six volts. This is the circuit. You need to find the voltage here. V seven and double dash. Three, five, and five. Okay, six gets divided between these two. So V seven and double dash is minus three volts. Six gets divided across two five ohm resistors, three three. So and this is in opposite direction. So minus three volts. Considering two amps source alone. Considering two amps, short this and this. So something like this. So five and five, so one and one amp. <coughs> so minus five V seven and triple dash is minus five volts. So total V seven and will become V seven and dash plus V seven and double dash plus V seven and triple dash. Two point five minus three minus five. Eight minus two point five. Okay, eight minus two point five. It will be right here. Five point five volts minus five point five volts is V seven N. Okay, not the. It will be in the opposite direction. Okay, so it will be something like this: minus plus five point five volts, and a series resistor of two point five ohms. This is RL. So power will be <coughs> V square by. So voltage. Uh, this is again two point five ohms. So five point five by two is voltage across. Let me erase this. So power is equal to maximum power. So V square by V ten and square by four R L or R ten and five point five square by four into two point five. 
So tell me the answer. Three point zero two five watts. Okay. Clear. Three point zero two five watts. Yeah. Clear, everyone. Clear, everyone. Three point zero two five watts. Okay. Okay, and this is you can do this last one. Find the thevenin's voltage V thevenin in volts in the network shown below. Find V thevenin. Rounded off up to two decimals. Rounded off up to two decimals. Find V thevenin. Fourteen volts directly, right? So you can use as many yeah, as you want, but simpler way is again using superposition theorem. Consider only four volt source acting along this is open, so no current flows through this. So four volts V seven and dash is four volts directly. Okay, using superposition when four volt is acting alone. Next to five amps is acting alone. Okay, so short this. So five and two ten. Okay, so V thevenin and double dashes ten volts. So total V thevenin is four plus ten. Fourteen volts directly. Okay, clear here. You done clear? Okay, so in the next class we will see uh, at least basics of some other theorems and then we will move on to the next concept, uh, inductor and capacitor. We will see the properties of them, then we will see first order circuit and second order circuit. Okay? first order circuits and second order circuits is nothing but the transients okay so we'll see those transient circuits in the next class uh, as soon as we finish our l and c elements okay so far we were uh, dealing with r resistance okay in ac circuits we you, uh, all the concepts we learned will also apply to ac circuits except resistance will be <coughs> Uh, resistance will be replaced with impedance and all the simple algebra will become your complex uh, <coughs> numbers okay so we'll see that okay we'll see some because this is not gate i don't want to go with more of numericals that is why i am doing in resistors only in all the terminants northons and all we'll see some simpler uh, numericals in uh, ac circuits also okay next class we will be dealing with l and c elements first order and second order circuits okay thank you any doubts in this class so in uh, as always in networks you can always use different methods uh, the only thing is you have to be sure with your uh, method and you have to get the answer properly hmm? okay
Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.